Hey everybody, it's your helpful High Plains Librarian here, and we've got this video set up to show you how to check out, download, and read books on your Amazon Kindle or through your Kindle app, which is very exciting because this has only become available today. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is open up your web browser or internet window and head over to our website, which is mylibrary.us. You can also just Google search mylibrary.us or High Plains Library District. And we're going to go over to this media tab here on the left. And if you go to that without clicking, you can see we've got ebooks fiction and ebooks nonfiction in this drop down menu. So go ahead and click either one of those. And that's going to take us to the Overdrive page. Now, what we've got here is the main page. And what I always suggest, I know we're excited to get downloading is that you go to the upper right and sign in very first thing because that makes sure that whatever we put in the cart is ready to go for us. So I'm going to sign in real quick. And I'm in. I'm going to take us back to this right here, Digital Media Home, so we can see what all is available. Now, the easiest way to find everything that's available for the Kindle is to go to this advanced search click that and you'll see all these options and you can under this format search click Kindle book if you have that selected and click search this will bring back everything that's available for the Kindle at this time so you can see right now we've got about 1200 titles available now I happen to know that most of them as you can see because it says place a hold are checked out at this time so I'm going to go ahead and go to the very last page and see if we might have something more available. Okay, so here we go. We're going to check out the fire. So what you need to do, you look at the record for the fire. Down here, you see Kindle book, and you can see the little icon of the Kindle. If that's not there, it does not work on the Kindle. If you see a record that only shows, you know, Adobe PDF ebook that will not work on your Kindle. It must say Kindle Book. So that's the one I want. I'm going to click Add to Cart. That takes us to a pretty familiar screen. This is just a uh, screen to confirm our checkout and all that. You could continue browsing if you weren't done. Or if you're done, you can proceed to checkout. Or if I click that one by accident, I can remove. I'm going to go ahead and say Proceed to Checkout. Now this is something pretty cool that's exclusive to the Kindle at this point. You can pick a 7 or a 14 day checkout, but what's great about the Kindle is it's the only device where you can return the books early. So you can have 10 titles out at a time, but you can turn one in the moment you're done with it and then check out another one. On an other device, you check it out for 7 days and you have it for 7 days. There's no early returns. So if you did check out 10 items at once for 7 days, and you read them all in the first three days, you have four days without books. But on the Kindle, you can turn them in the moment you're done. They act a lot more like a normal library book, which is a great feature. So I'm going to leave this at seven days, and I'm going to click this Confirm Checkout here at the bottom. All right, so this tells me what I've got, when I checked it out, and when it's going to expire. So that means I've got these seven days to read it. Now here's where it gets a little different. You've got this button, Get for Kindle. Go ahead and click that, and it's going to open up a new tab or a new window on Amazon.com. Okay, and it'll look a lot like when you buy an item on Amazon.com. It shows the title here. It gives you a little bit of info right here. And what you're really looking for on the right side is where it says Get Library Book. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then I need to type in all my credentials right here. Now once you've logged in, you'll see the option to deliver to a device. If you've already purchased books on your Kindle, it should be right on there. You may also have Kindle Cloud Reader. You can also transfer it from a computer or you can register a new Kindle if this is the very first thing you're doing with your Kindle. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And now it'll say thanks your public library book has been delivered to you in the name of your device and it tells you what it is all that good stuff if you wanted to transfer it to a device via USB you can click download now but it should be delivered wirelessly to the Kindle so now we're gonna go to the Kindle 
the next time we have a Wi-Fi hotspot and make sure that it's on there and check all the download settings. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to doing that right now. Alright, so I've got my Kindle. I've got it turned on. Now the one thing you'll have to do is connect to wireless in order to get your book. So what you want to do is hit this menu button here and you'll get this menu like this. You're going to go down almost to the bottom where you've got settings. From there you've got a few options and if you head towards the bottom again you'll see you have Wi-Fi settings. And you're going to go ahead and click where it says view there. This is going to scan for wireless networks and get everything we've got. So now we're connected to the High Plains network since we're in the library. I'm going to go ahead and close down. You just want to make sure you're connected to whatever network you need. You don't have to be in the library. Once you get connected to a wireless network, your download should happen automatically. So I'm going to hit this home button so we can see what all is available. And there we go. Second from the top, we've got the fire. I can select that and start reading. Now the last thing I wanted to show you is that uh, you can turn those books in early like I said. So once you're logged in and if you click the link that says manage your Kindle, you'll be able to see what you've got checked out on the Kindle. So now what you can do is find the title we just downloaded, The Fire, a novel, and over here you've got these actions. So we've already got the option to read it and it's already been delivered. If you have trouble with delivery though you can try this to do it again. You could purchase this book if for some reason you wanted to, download and transfer via USB, and most importantly, return this book. If you are finished with the book, or you decide, I hated this book, or I loved it so much I couldn't finish it, you can say, return this book now, and that'll free up that slot for another download the next time you connect your Kindle to the Wi-Fi.